What's going on, everybody? Rage and Avoni here, bringing you your next episode of Road to Ranked. Today, we'll be using a team featuring Cleavor, the second Pokemon we talked about in our VGC Guide series. This team was built by my good buddy Alpha Amp. Link to his YouTube channel, and I'll put the rental code on screen here as well as in the description below if you want to try out the team for yourself. But we've got a team of Cleavor, Tornadus, Urshifu, Amoongus, Fluttermane, and Chi Yu. So we'll be using these six, hopefully to get a 3-0 today. In our last video, we went 4-0. So hopefully we can keep the streak going and get some good wins. So let's go ahead and hop into the first battle. We are hopping into our first battle here, and we've got Orlando, Amoongus, Urshifu, Heatran, Miss, I almost said Mischievous, Fluttermane, and Zapdos. The first Zapdos I've seen. Very interesting. Zapdos is a Pokemon that I've had my eye on a little bit. So, what do we want to do against this team? Does What does Cleavor do here? <coughs> Cleavor damages Zapdos by 25% when it switches in. Or KOs it with Stone Axe. There's a couple Pokemon here that could use the Focus Sash. Having Rocks could be nice. Urshifu water is interest. <coughs> excuse me, is interesting here. But the Zapdos and Amoongus do make bringing it a little scurry. I don't think I want my Fluttermane to be caught out in the lead. Sorry, Cleavor. This first battle isn't you, I don't think. Don't worry. You got two other battles. Got two other battles to shine here. Oh, this guy's in a suit. So I am Scarf on the Urshifu, which means I will outspeed the Zapdos naturally. Could taunt them. Don't know what kind of Zapdos they are, which is the scurry part. I can't really switch in. Just got Surging Strikes to Lando here. Flying Terra Blast, yeah. That's still good damage. I'm gonna take four surging strikes to get the KO. Thunderbolt. When Zapdos moved last, I thought they may have been going for a support move. Just bulky Zapdos. Tailwind set up here. It's good damage on Zapdos. They got their terror out of the way. We'll see if Chiyu Flutter can clean up here. Oh, they actually leave my Tornadus alive. Their own Fluttermane. <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. Speed was heightened. Okay. Uh, four turns of Tailwind left. Uh, I do have to rely on some inaccurate moves here. Alright, hit both heat waves. Now uh, this is single target bleak wind. Oh! Just barely hangs on. Ah, dang it. Ah, but so does Chiyu. Okay, okay. So that's two turns of tail in left. And I get special attacking Flutter Main in. And it's their owner, Shifu. Or Shifu Dark. Two turns of Tailwind, right? Yep. What's more accurate? Heat Wave. I'm pretty sure Snarl will get it, <coughs> but I need a double target move to cover for the Sash on Urshifu. Sorry I'm coughing a little bit. Still recovering from being sick. Alright, this is why we covered their Focus Sash. Yeah, they sucker punch anyways. Oh, they're not Sash. I think they only should have protected Fluttermane there if they were Sash. This is my last turn of Tailwind, even though their Bridger Speed should outspeed them here. Fluttermane just cleans up. That was a, that was a rough looking battle, but we brought it back here. brought that back really relying on the chiu flutter main cord there in the back to get us through but it got us through so chiu hanging on after that dazzling gleam was really huge made urshifu target the chiu to get it down instead so yeah that's gonna be doing it for battle one let's hop into battle two here so battle two we have very interesting team uh Kleemore is definitely coming out in the lead here just straight away um, there's a lot of things that take a lot of damage from rocks. So, yes, Cleavor coming out in the front here. Very interesting team, indeed. There's going to be some silly shenanigans that I'm not going to be ready for with this team, I can already tell. I want to bring Urshifu to crit through screens. Set a Mingus right there. Is... I'm not having Tailwind. Do I need Among Us? <coughs> I don't think I need the Among Us here. All right, this is a very interesting team. Let's hopefully not get hit by any weird tech. Let's just outspeed them and let's let's knock them down here. They have a couple Tailwind options on their team and kill a Watcher on Dragonite, so I definitely like bringing the Torn here over the Amoongus.
Hmm, will they be multi-scale? Somebody's getting faked out here, right? Faked out. They are multi scale, so that's broken now. Ooh, how much speed investment do they have? Because <clears throat> another ice spinner will KO them. I guess we're just gonna have to see. Because Cleavor was faster. And Urshvi outspeeds Cleavor, so I'm not, I should. should outspeed them with Scarf Urshifu. Terra Normal. Well, they're not choice banned, so. Plus one extreme speed into Urshifu. Hangs on. Beautiful Urshifu. Alright, they have set up no screens. Dragon Dance, Extreme Speed. Doubling out here. I just hope Flutter doesn't go to sleep. That would be the worst. Stream speed into the Flutter main. Beautiful. And they pollen puff. Sweet. Get him for free. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Now they're gonna extreme speed tornadoes, right? Alright, I like how this is piecing together now. Two ghost types on the field against your Terra Normal. What's this? What's this? No extreme speed. Bonk. You missed. Show me your moon blast switching. You don't have one. What's your last move? Stream speed, dragon dance. Probably have dragon move, which doesn't affect flutter. Flying move, tailwind. What is it?
and Snarl comes back in. They do have Protect. I wonder if they don't have a way to hit anything. Kind of sucks that I couldn't get a taunt off on the. I'll just bleak wind. We'll double the dragonite just to make sure. I don't really need tailwind here. They have priority on their side. Tailwind's not going to help me do anything. sense. I have to switch in something on Bleak Wind Storm now, though. can't use their iron hands to fake out, so I can pick up a double KO here. This is a pretty easy move for me. <sighs> Unless they do that. Sorry, Amoongus is down now, though. I feel like Fluttermane has really done its job. Oh, nom 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 berries. Are you belly drum set? Thunder punch. No para. We're good. All right. Come back in and takes more rocks damage. And Cleavor is just eating up the chip damage right now. Loving it. Can't fake me out because I'm double ghost. Just Bleak Wind will Moon Bass the, Har the Hariyama, the Iron Hands. My goodness, I keep messing up with the Paradox Pokemon right now. I keep calling them their original. Ah, Swaga. Making me play with the Parahax. Can't beat Cleavor Urshifu in the back at this point, I don't think so. Pop! <coughs> Hitting all my bleak wind storms too, which is really nice. I'm feeling really proud of this win. I feel like we positioned ourselves well. That double out was really good on our part. We dodged two extreme speeds in a row with our ghost types. Tornadus is my new favorite ghost type. Ding. All right. Well, that felt like that felt like a good win, even though the team was a little unorthodox. You know, with those teams, you never know what you're gonna get. So it always feels good to beat them because there's always gonna be some weird best of one tech, and you're just like, oh. But that, was, that felt good. We're at two and zero on the video. Let's go ahead and hop into our third and last battle. Oh boy, we've got a Cleavor Mirror with the Chien Pao Dragonite Torn Urshifu. This is a solid team that we're going up against here. This this is a team. This is a team. I feel like they suffer more to rocks than I do, though. I 
think we're probably going to have the same leads here of Torn Cleavor. I'm locking it in fast. All right, this is this is the battle that I want to win. Hopefully, I brought the right Pokemon. Oh, Magearna, hi. All right, all right, we're in the zone here. Yep. We are not max speed on our Cleavor here. Blocked by Taunt. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. Let's see what the Cleavors do here. My Cleavor goes first. Oh, are they Sash? The Rocky Helmet. Oh, just barely hung on. Dang. And I go down. Rocky Helmet Chip. But they also go down to Rocky Helmet Chip. Let's, go. Let's send Inertiafu here. This is going to be like an exact mirror, isn't it? Booster speed. Special attack. Did we bring the same Pokemon? Tailwind to match theirs. If they're super bulky flutter, they can live a surging strike, so I got a Terra here. Please don't be something stupid like Terra Grass Flutter. Okay, they didn't Terra. This should be a KO. They're bleak winding too. Wow, oh, they're not even bulky flutter. Bleak wind dodges on Tornadus. Oh. Must be dropped, must be dropped, must be dropped. Ah, dang it. That's okay. I think it's just strikes and taunt, right? Because I should be going first with my tail end up. I should I should outspeed everything. It should be fine. They should have said tail in that turn. It's almost an exact mirror. They came out with the Chien Pao, though. Mental Herb, Covert Cloak, what are ya? Ah, they're Mental Herb. Your sword. Oh, Urshifu lives it though. Let's go, Urshifu. And that is a see you later, Chin Pao. Boom. That'll be GG's for us. It should just KO. Nah, 
not should it. Bulky torn, bulky torn. My bleak wind should care should uh clean this up though. They're actually faster torn or it's a speed tie. But they have no way around my flutter in the back now. It's alright, Urshifu, thank you, you did your job. Yeah, I was gonna say even if I missed flutter cleans <coughs> nice another 3-0 <coughs> throats ranked really working out for us here that was a good battle that one felt good to win that one felt good to win for sure getting our rocks up there was way more important for us than it was for them so cleavor coming in clicked like two moves but they were two pretty important moves opponent in game two really loved to switch and in that one we got um, enough rocks damage up to take care of the flutter main. Even even if I didn't Terra, you know, that's that's like a game two adjustment. I wouldn't click my Terra right away if I was going into game two there. So it's really good, really good. Feels really good to 3-0 that video. So thanks again, Alpha, for the team. And if you want to try it out for yourself, check out the description below. Go subscribe to Alpha Amp on his YouTube channel. He's got a couple, one or two streams, a couple maybe that he uses this team as well. So if you want to see more play with it, go check it out. And make sure to subscribe because this is a place to be. Regulation D. I'll see you all in the next one.